They're the only team that have qualified so far. Iran, they're pretty much there, but Japan, the Philippines and Kazakhstan will be fighting it out for one, the third automatic qualification place and potentially being the best fourth place team in the Asia qualifiers as well. So many permutations that can happen throughout these qualifiers in this group. Um, as I said, Iran pretty much there. And they just uh, need to pick up another win or to lose by less than eight in their game that's currently going on with Japan at the moment. They're down by 12 with 2.26 to go in the third quarter in that one. For the Philippines, it's an awkward one. They can finish anywhere between third and fifth. They would secure a spot with the World Cup uh, at the World Cup finals um, if they were to hold on to a tiebreaker against Japan. But even if they win both their games, it will depend on other results for them. Um, alternatively, if they're not able to win both those games, there's a permutation where they could potentially still qualify for the World Cup finals by being the best fourth-placed team in the Asia group. Uh, it gets complicated, but uh, that adds to the excitement of the fans here in the arena in Doha. And we're waiting for the teams to be introduced. And the noise levels are certainly rising. It's going to be a uh, high energy atmosphere for the two teams today. As you can see, a heavy proportion of the crowd wearing Filipino T-shirts and banners. And they know how important it is for them to qualify. And uh, as you hear the team introduced to the crowd, you hear the noise levels rise. It's going to feel a bit like a home game for the Philippines. And they, but they haven't made it easy on themselves. They started strongly. They won four of their first five games. Obviously, they had uh, the issues in the game against Australia. Absolutely disgraceful scenes. I don't think anyone can condone them whatsoever. That's left them with numerous players suspended, and they've only won one of their last five games. They've pretty much got all their players back from suspension. Now I think there's just one player still serving one more game. Um, but it is time for them to right the wrong. And there's plenty of expectation on the shoulders of these players. The entire country will be watching. The Philippines certainly do love their basketball and they'll be willing them on to victory. And missing the World Cup finals is really not an option for the Philippines or the players and coaching staff. It's a big part of the culture in the Philippines. And making it to the World Cup finals is the least they expect from their team. That adds some pressure to the players, but they seem pretty relaxed so far here in the arena. Just waiting now for the home team to be introduced. And Qatar haven't had the qualification Ella wanted, um, but they have made a step forward, that's for sure. Making it through to the second qualification phase was a big achievement for them and may not make it through to the finals, but they've certainly gained some valuable experience from these qualifiers. And uh, oh, how they'd love to pick up a win today and uh, upset things for the Philippines. And if they can't today, they've got another chance in their final game of these qualifiers when they take on Japan on Sunday. They only lost by nine in the previous meeting with the Philippines, and that was in Manila. So potentially they have the talent and the ability to go one step further here today in front of their home crowd. Just under five minutes away from the tip-off here now. And uh, you have a feeling it's going to be a very noisy game. And it'll be interesting to see how that translates onto the hardwood and how it impacts the players. Some players revel in the noise. Some players shrink a little bit in it. But before we get started, we're going to have the national anthems for both countries.
Wonderful renditions there of both national anthems and it really sets the scene perfectly for this huge World Cup qualifier here in Doha. And the teams exchange gifts and the final pleasantries before they go to battle. And uh, for the Philippines, there's a huge amount at stake. Their chances of making it to the World Cup Finals for Qatar, pride at stake. Here are our officials in Taihuang, Young Yu and Ahmed Al Shuwali from Korea, Chinese Taipei and Iraq, respectively. They'll be making sure everything is above board in today's game. And uh, what a game we certainly have ahead of us. So much at stake and so much on the shoulders of those Filipino players, that's for sure. And it should be an interesting one, plenty of wrinkles to look at. Qatar not known for their scoring, so they'll be looking to hopefully uh, lock down the Filipinos on the offensive end. We'll have to wait and see whether we're going to have a low scoring affair here. If so, plays into the hands of Qatar a little bit, or if it starts lighting up, you have a feeling that it swings more into the hands of the Filipino team. That man there, Blatch, will play his part. moments away from the opening tip now and the fans are starting to get excited as you can see and the love for basketball in the Philippines is second to none and it means an awful lot to the fans here that have made the journey to Qatar to follow their team and they've made it they made the journey in the thousands that's for sure and they have a feeling they might turn this almost into a home game for the Philippines and they look to outnumber the Qatari fans in the stadium. And uh, here is your starting five for the Philippines. Blatch, Lassiter, Aguilar, Norwood and Castro. The uh, starting five for Qatar is uh, Mohamed, Saeed, Gui, uh, Khalid and Fauda. And they have an awful lot to deal with from the Philippines roster today. Plenty of faces back in the fray. And there, Coach Jenny Alice. Sorry, Coach uh, Giao here. He's uh, done everything he can with Filipino basketball. He's played, he's coached, he's commentated. He's been the commissioner of the league in the Philippines and now the national team head coach. Truly is an icon of Filipino basket. Jenny Alice here. He's only been in charge for a few games for Qatar. Different end of the spectrum for him. But uh, he knows these are the last opportunities to claim a big scalp for Qatar in his World Cup qualifiers. And what a big scalp it would be. It really would uh, make headlines on international basketball. And I'm sure he'll have his team ready to put in a very big shift here today. So we're moments away from the opening tip. Remember, if you want to stay up to date with all things FIBA 2019 World Cup, you need to make sure you download the official FIBA World Cup app. It's available on iOS and Android. There's no excuses. Get your uh, tablets or phones out now. Download it. It will bring you all the stats, news, and highlight videos straight to your hand. Plenty of excitement around the world for these qualifiers as well. So make sure you get that downloaded now. Listen to the noise in the crowd here. They are going to make some noise this evening. Almost a nervous hush in the crowd now before we have the opening tip. So much at stake for the Philippines. Their hopes of making it to the World Cup Finals on the line. Mohamed there is going to play his part. He's averaging 12.1 points, 4.7 boards per game. And he's going to go for the tip against Aguilar. Just waiting for the technicalities to be sorted. And uh, it looks like uh, Suleiman Khalid is just getting his shorts in order. And uh, we're ready to go. Here 
Here we go then. FIBA 2019 World Cup basketball underway here in Doha. As the Philippines look to try and make it all the way to the World Cup finals. A huge game for them. Blatch drives the baseline, hands it inside. Thinks he stepped out of bounds. An early turnover for the Philippines. The Qatari ball on the baseline and Blatch is going to cause problems. You have a feeling here today. As he just uh, quick footwork gets him past Saeed. Moment now with the ball, hands it off to Gaye. Goes back inside to Moment. Strong move. Very confident start from the Qataris. Wonderful mismatch. There's no way that Castro is going to be able to stop Moment when he's that low. Castro tries to put the reply up quickly, but he's off to the left. And Qatar will pull down the defensive board. Fowder now at the top. Feeds Momed again, closely guarded by Blatch. Blatch not normally going to come out that far for a player. Said now hands it off to Khalid. Khalid for three. Comes up short, rebound for Blatch. And the Philippines want to get their scoring underway as soon as they can. They know a high-scoring game plays into their hands slightly. Blatch fakes the three, looks to drive past and does with a two-handed jam! What a way to start the game! Andre Blatch blasts past his player and throws it down with authority on the baseline. Erfan Saeed left in his dust. Momed looks to come across and help. He's too late though and Blatch has got the crowd on their feet already. And converts the bonus from the line. Much to the appreciation of the majority of the fans in the arena. The Filipinos have made the journey in numbers as Fowler drives to the basket, looks to kick it out, does so. Khalid goes inside, a lovely jinking cut to the basket. Bounces his way inside and uses the glass to its best effect for two. Latch fakes the three. Pulls up for the three. Air ball this time, though. Not to be for Andre Blatch. And that's where they want him taking shots. He can hit shots from outside. But uh, his shooting percentage has been pretty poor in the qualifiers. Only shooting 19% from the perimeter in these World Cup qualifiers. Mohamed now hands it off to Khalid. Khalid now looking to find some space. Shot clock's running down. Are they going to get a shot away? They're not. That's great defense from the Philippines, forcing the turnover. It's going to be a sideline ball for the Philippines. And uh, Coach Giao, very calm on the sidelines. Plenty of experience in his 59 years. It's going to be a sideline ball in the front court for the Philippines. As the shot clock expired while the player had it in their hands in that front court. Aguilar comes back out now. It's into the hands of Lassiter. Back down into Blatch. Almost knocked away by Saeed. Blatch looking to back his way down. That's a tough fade away. Comes up short and Khalid. Brings down the rebound for Qatar, and at the moment, everything's going through the hands of Blatch. I'm not sure that's necessarily a wise move for the Philippines. They want to get a few people warmed up early. Mohamed now to Khalid. It's knocked away, Aguilar with the quick hands. Philippines look to transition, but it closed out. Good defence by the Qataris. Lassiter now, back to Blatch once again, and they look to isolate on him. Fakes the three, loses the handle though, and once again, completely focusing on Andre Blatch has not paid off for the Philippines. Been a bit of a full start offensively for them outside of the M1 play. Not really much happening on the Filipino offensive front. Fowder inbounds the ball. Gaye advances it up over the half for Qatar. 
It's back out, drives inside, and the foul's going to be called. I think that was Aguilar caught, putting his hands in. And Saeed will go to the line for two shots, or was it, uh, in fact, Castro? We'll wait to see. Saeed at the line for two. Not the best at free throw shooters, 53% prior to uh, today's game. Gets the first to go. Such a dominant force on the boards, though. He's almost averaging as many rebounds as he is points. 8.5 points per game, 8.3 rebounds per game for Saeed. The, uh, the veteran big man certainly crashes the boards hard, but he's had his hands full today. It looks like they see him maybe as a weakness on the defensive end against Blatch. They're going to make him work hard. Norwood hands it off to Blatch. Blatch hands it back to Castro. Back to Aguilar. Going to hand it off to Lassiter. Shot clock runs down to just six seconds now. Blatch. Back off to Castro. Little step back. Tough shot. Gets it to go, though. And that's exactly what I was talking about. They need to get a few more players taking shots. Get them into the rhythm of the game. And Castro certainly is one of them. 15 points per game in the qualifiers prior to today. Absolutely critical for him to warm up. Khalid now, little fade away off the glass. Short with that one, and Blatch pulls the rebound down. Second board of the game for the big man. And the foul's going to be called. Both players reaching in. You have a feeling that one's going to be called on uh, Mornar Gaye. Latch now hands the ball off. Castro looking to shape. He's got the mismatch. Oh, and he drains the three. Wonderful heads up play by Castro. He saw that he had the mismatch. He was confident after his previous mid range attempt. Stepped a few feet further back out and drains the triple. Backdoor pass to Khaled. Inside to Mohamed, he's pinned down. It's going to come back out, though. This time to Gaye, he comes up short with the three. Quick hands, though, by Gaye has uh, stopped the transition offense for the Philippines. Khalid now inside to Saeed. He's going to come back out, and Qatar are going to take their time as Fowler slows it down. Not got too long though, only nine seconds left on the shot clock. Fowler pulls the trigger on a three, nails the three. And Katara back in the lead. Certainly not what the form book or the script had written. As Qatar take the lead. 4.38 left in this first quarter. Sorry, yeah, Qatar take the lead. One point lead at the moment. Castro inside, comes back out now. Norwood pulls the trigger on the three. He's no good, though, and the Philippines aren't finding their rhythm on the offensive end as yet. And it's critical that they do. If they can uh, start opening up the floodgates offensively, Qatar are going to struggle to keep up with them. Khalid, right-hand hook. Beautiful play, almost in slow-mo there from uh, Suleiman Khalid. Norwood to Lassiter. A two-man game with Blatch, but uh, the defence manages to flex around it. Blatch uses his strength to get inside, but comes up short, and Mod Mohamed easily pulls down the uncontested defensive board. And the Philippines at the moment are struggling. Saeed now wants to hand it off, but he can't. Going to feed the post to Khaled instead. Little spin fade away is no good. And a rebound by Blatch. Gets the Philippines underway again. Castro back to Blatch. Blatch into the corner to Lassiter. Hits the three. Ties the game 11 apiece. Just over three minutes left in the first quarter. Filipino fans in the crowd certainly enjoying that one. And it's important, I think, for the Philippines to bring their crowd into this game. 
That noise is unbelievable in the arena, absolutely deafening. Foul almost loses the handle, he needs to find a pass. Steps inside, comes up short though. Did everything right, bar the finish. Castro sees the lane open up and gets the two and the Philippines will take the lead. Great phase of play for the Philippines. Left hand off the glass is good to go. And the crowd are starting to warm up. Timeout has been called by coach Jenny Alice. And Cypriot will want to have a conversation with his team. They started so well, but they're letting the Philippines start to warm up now. Let's jump into the timeout and listen to see what the coaching teams are saying. Trying to make some corrections. The Qatari coaching team there. And they know they can't let the Philippines take momentum, take control of the game, because if they do, they could be blown out of the water pretty quickly. They need to make sure that they keep in touching distance of the Philippines for the entire game. They don't need to see a big lead open up for them to have to try and battle back into. They've done a great job in the first almost eight minutes of this game. They just need to make sure that it stays tight for them. Fouled and out. Feeds Momed in the low post. Momed against Blatch. It's going to be a wonderful battle between the big men. Plenty of uh, bolt, size and strength there. And a bit of handle as well from Momed. Fades away, looking for the foul. The officials don't call it. Momed's given up on it. Blatch is out of the races. Castro to Blatch. Lays it in for two. Wonderful team transition for the Philippines. And this is uh, Momed looking for the call, and that's a good decision by the officials. It's Momed trying to uh, force the uh, offence, and it's not there. Good defence by Blatch. Khaled now. Tough shot off the iron and out. Blatch grabs the rebound, and Philippines are starting to uh, take full control of this game. Castro, hesitant dribble inside. Tough first move uh, for Rosario. With the face mask. Can't get that to go. Fowder now, a little crossover back to Momed to Saeed. Nice ball movement. Khaled in the corner for the three. Can only put up the air ball though. And the Qatari's momentum that they had at the start of the game is starting to ebb away. Castro now against Fowder to the corner. Wide open for the three. A little bit long with that one, and it's. Knocked out of bounds by Rosario. Be a Qatari ball. You always wonder how difficult it is for players to play with face masks. Obviously necessary, guarding an old injury, making sure it's not made worse. But it can't be comfortable. It must inhibit the game. Some players actually thrive in it. You've seen some players actually continue to wear a face mask after the injury has gone. Almost superstitious about having a good run of form while wearing it. I think most players, though, are pretty keen to get the face mask off as quick as they can. Down to 43 seconds in the first quarter now. The Philippines lead by four. Fowder. Feeds the low post. Saeed. Travelling violation. Easy one to the official to a call there. Just picked the pivot foot up before he got the ball down. It's a lovely jab step, but there's the pivot foot picking up. If he'd kept that in place, that would have been a wonderful move. Oh, I'm afraid, Coach Gianni Aris, you're wrong. And it was a travel, absolutely, it was a travel. Baroka now hands it back. Nice, tough move. No joy for 30 Ravina. 
his debut on the international scene, a wonderful story. Four years ago, he tweeted predicting the future that he'd represent the uh, Philippines in the 2019 FIBA World Cup, and it's come true for him. It's his first game in the qualifiers, but uh, he made a bold prediction on Twitter for everyone to see, and he's followed through with it. He's developed into a great standard player. Expect to see plenty of him in the future years to come for the Philippines. Just 22 years of age. And uh, that's the end of the first quarter for you here in Doha, in Qatar. Qatar 11, the Philippines 15. Interesting first quarter of action we've had here in Qatar. As, uh, Qatar made themselves a nuisance early on, holding on to uh, a pretty strong lead at the midpoint of the quarter. And the Philippines started to find some form. They over relied on that man, Blatch, at the opening stages. Everything offensively went through him, and Qatar were able to deal with that situation. Now that the Philippines are starting to move the ball and have multiple threats offensively, Particularly from that man there, Jason Castro. They've uh, caused a few more problems, and that's enabled them to take this lead. After the first quarter, they lead by four. Castro's leading their scoring with seven points. Also to score, Andre Blatch, he's got five, and Lasseter's got three. For Qatar, the leading scorer is Khalid. He's got himself four points, also three boards. It's a good uh, opening nine minutes for him. Remember, Qatar can't qualify for the World Cup finals, but the Philippines certainly can. Not great shooting figures there for Qatar in the opening quarter. Philippines certainly got better as the quarter went on. And as I said in the uh, opening intro, it's almost like a home game for the Philippines. This might be in Doha, but uh, thousands of Filipino fans have made the journey. And they certainly made themselves heard in that first quarter. Here we go, second quarter underway in the World Cup qualifier between Qatar and the Philippines. After 10 minutes, the Philippines lead this one by four. What do Qatar have to offer up in this game? Nice drive to the basket, Saeed with the up and under, grabs his own rebound and gets the put back. Very important for Qatar to get on the scoreboard early in this second quarter. They didn't want to leave it a long time and Saeed's done exactly that. First possession, they get the points. Philippines now with the ball, Dalliston inside, comes back out. Now into the hands of uh, Baroka. No joy, and the rebound is ripped down by Abdul Halim. Mustafa Fowder now. Abdul Halim into Saeed in the low post. Back out to Fowder. Good ball movement here by Qatar. Nice and confident. Need to find an end game though. Abdul Halim. A little bit heavy, but the rebound is pulled in by Irfan Saeed. Fowder going to play a little two man game with Saeed now on the pick and roll. Oh, wonderful pass inside. A little bit too high though. It's going to come back out. Fowder wide open. Just the two. Can't get it to go. And Dalliston will pick up the rebound for the Philippines. Often referred to as Paul Lee. Comes back out now to Rosario. Baroka to Rosario. To Dalliston for three. That's a long, long way out for Dalliston. Points to the crowd. Shows his appreciation for their support as they show their appreciation for the big triple. Foul has been called on now. Uh, Andy Baroka. His first foul of the game and his first actual uh, World Cup qualifier today as well. Plenty of experience though. He's won the Filipino League six times. He's been in the All-Star game six times. He's actually been the uh, finals MVP in the Philippines twice, including last season. A veteran point guard, plenty to offer 
his country here today. The Philippines lead by five. As uh, Al Hadari has the ball. And the foul's going to be called. We'll wait to see who that's on. That one's going to be called on 30 Ravina. <laughs> Abdul Halim hands it off to El Hadari. El Hadari, little hesitation. Oh, nice hesitation, but he's going to get locked down. Great defense there by Baroka, and the foul's going to be called straight away on Nadim Muslic. His first game for Qatar, Muslic. There's a defense, almost a wise foul. Lucky not to be an unsportsmanlike, though. Just looking to stop the transition break from Dalliston, and does so effectively. Muslic much more known for his three-on-three three than he is his five-on-five. Five. Part of the uh, touring three-on-three three tournaments. One of the top 500 players in the world, in fact, Muslic. Ravina, good ball movement. Dallaston comes inside, little fade away on the short range. Can't get it to go. And the rebound is pulled down by El Hadari. Inside, nice pass to Saeed, but great defense from Rosario. Dalliston now looking to go past Muslic, does. Comes back into the hands of Fahadou and he can't get it to go. There's uh, some great defence here. Wonderful help defence there by Abdul Halim. Fahadou is going to head to the bench. To Blatch, Blatch now for three. He's short. There's neither team. He started the second quarter on fire offensively at the moment. There's still plenty uh, to work on. Wonderful drive inside, but a big rejection as Blatch stares him down. Muskic thought he'd had this one away, but Blatch comes to help. Wonderful block by Blatch, protecting the rim. Added the uh, intensity with a nice stare down to finish it off. Well, Hadari now looking to use the screen from Abdul Halim. Does so, pulls up for the three. Oh, nails the three. That's a big shot. Katara within two. They're certainly not going to lie down and give the win away. They're going to fight to the end, that's for sure. Into the corner, Rosario. Too much on that one, and El Hadari. Comes away once again with the rebound. Pulls up for the mid two and hits another two. Five quick points. Well, Hattery. <laughs> wonderful, wonderful play from him. He's taking control of the game all on his own. And the uh, Filipino lead is down to one. Blatch now. Nice pass inside to Rosario. And no help defense from Qatar. Rosario won't score an easier two points than that. Muzkic now, hands it off to Muzlic. Spit move inside, almost travels, but uh, the defense is enough from Dalliston to put Muzlic off balance. Blatch fakes the three, looks to go inside. Looked like he drew contact, but no foul called. Dalliston to Blatch. A wonderful crossover. Corner three for Baroka, he's good to go. But it's the assist that's the highlight. Wonderful form on the shot. And just what the Philippines needed as Qatar was starting to pull their way back into the game. Timeout's been called as the Filipino lead is back out to six points. 5.35 left on the second quarter clock. Let's jump into the timeouts and hear what the coaching staff have to say.
push him inside and go for the race. Let's go. Defense, we don't fight. Defense, we don't fight. Defense, we don't fight. Defense, we don't fight. A difference can be seen from the perimeter, that's for sure. So far in the game, Qatar have only hit one from range. El Hadari just now, one from six, so just 17% from them. For the Philippines, they're four from 10, 40%. And uh, that's more than the gap. So uh, there's your difference in the teams at the moment. Qatar not quite lining up from the perimeter, and they'll need to if they want to win this game. Elias has come into the game for Qatar and he's going to inbound the ball. As the Philippines apply a little bit more pressure than they have so far and the foul's going to be called straight away. That one is on that Baroka. And it's an easy one to call. I'm not too sure what he's getting so animated about. Couldn't be a more obvious foul if he tried. An unsportsmanlike foul has been called as well. Well, a technical foul, sorry, for Baroka. That's uh, more for his reaction than anything else. Al Hadari will miss the extra one, though. Baroka has come out of the game. That's actually his fourth personal foul. Don't expect to see him back in the game anytime soon. Not a bright play from Baroka there. If you're on two fouls, one to commit that foul so far away from the basket. And two to give up a technical as well. Abdul Halim now into Muslic. Back out to Abdul Halim. He's going to try and get to the basket, but that's good defense from the Philippines. Into the hands of uh, Muslic for three, and he's way off target. And Muslic is going to get called for the foul and again. Not a great foul. That one's going to be an unsportsmanlike foul, you have a feeling. He's not really played at the ball. He's just tried to pull Blatch back and to break up the transition. He's done it twice in the game now. Muslic is lucky not to have had a uh, technical foul earlier as well. Sorry, an unsportsmanlike foul earlier. just think the officials are looking over the plate to see what they're going to call. I think they're going to keep it as a regular foul. Wait to see what the officials say. And uh, Muslic is going to go to the bench as Khaled comes back in. And Khaled was really a bit of a spark plug for them in the first quarter. And the veteran guard certainly had plenty to offer. Some creativity on the offensive end that they've slightly lacked in this second quarter so far. Lasseter now. Now inside to Blatch. Blatch going to work. Nice little fake. Can he get it to go? He can't. And um, comes up slightly short with that attempt. Nice fake. Drawing the players up into the air. Really should have connected, though, for the extra points. Moshkic called for the foul. Yeah, it's the first of the two from the line. It's his first three throw attempts of the qualifiers. Played in three games before today's. Only averaging two points and 2.7 boards a game, but providing real backup in the front court for the Philippines. Connects with both, and that's one of the important things you have to do. As a support player that's coming off the bench, you're ready to get into the action, you don't miss a beat. And when you're called upon, you're not a liability, you're not a weakness. Getting sent to the line, you need to convert your three throws, and uh, Aram does that. Fouled and out to Khalid. Khalid being closely guarded by Lassiter. You have a feeling the Philippines understand how influential Khalid is. Mush Kitch now to Fouda. Off short with the three attempt. And Blatch pulls the rebound down and takes on point guard responsibilities. Castro now. Back to Blatch, they're looking to clear. Castro against Muskic, going to shake him a little bit. Drives inside, hands it off to Aram, who fumbles it. Shot clock down to three. Outside, Castro for three! Too heavy-handed with that one, and the rebound is going to be battled for on the hardwood. And Fowler will scoop up the loose ball. 
Khalid. Inside now to Mushkic. Back outside. Feed the low post. Let him go to work against Aram. And it's knocked away. He's looking to the officials, but it's just good defense. As soon as he got into the paint, the double came down on him. And he needed to look to move the ball away. Castro to Blatch. Blatch fakes a three, drives inside. And he's met at the ring by someone of equal size in Mod Momed. Looks like he might have caught a foot, though. Let's have a look at the replay. The foot goes up from Blatch. Oh, it's a knee in the hip. Oh, that's a sore one. We'll have a bruise in the morning. Met him at the ring, though. Looks like Blatch might have felt it as well. Irresistible force meets the immovable object when you see those two players go against each other. There's the respect, though, as Blatch goes over to check that he's all right. He looks like he's in a fair bit of pain, the big man. The Philippines are going to call a timeout, though. There's the fake by Blatch that opens the lane up. Mohamed looks to go across and help. Ends up on the wrong end of a huge Blatch knee. You see the pain in his face there, though. I think the picture tells you all you need to know with how, how much that hurt. Let's jump into the timeout huddle for the Philippines and listen to uh, Coach Gio. Pretty straightforward to hear from the Qatar timeout that uh, it's Blatch they need to lock down. I think he's causing them the issues, the mismatch. They're falling for the three fakes. Not sure they should. He's not shot well so far from the perimeter in the qualifiers. Only 19%. One of those things as a coach, you teach your players, don't respect the three until they earn the, the respect. And Blatch hasn't earned the respect so far. He's not drained the triples. Step out to him once he's got some rhythm. Not before. Make him prove that he can shoot that shot. Misses a second. Grabs his own rebound, though. Ridiculous play by Qatar. They've got four guys. Sorry, three guys rebounding. And Blatch out rebounds all of them. Challiston now. Blatch in the corner. He's offering in the baseline. He's going to shoot the three instead. In and out with that one. And once again, Blatch can't nail the three. Better defense, though, from Qatar in that instance. Didn't overplay the three threat. Khaled now. He dribbles it over. They want to feed the low post. That's what they want to do because the mismatch was there. But it's quick hands by Lasseter. To Blatch, Blatch in full flow, good ball movement, wide open, Lasseter to the three, nails another three, and the Philippines lead is only now to double digits now. 12 point lead for the Philippines, under three minutes to play in the second quarter, critical phase of the game now for Qatar. Avdic. As the noise increases, can Blatch keep it in? No, steps out of bounds. Oh, yes. Almost has it stolen away. Oh, and Blatch has a, a, a big toe on the line. The noise levels in the arena got up to a... Deafening in that last phase of play. Said now against Blatch gets it to go. That's a wonderful play by the veteran big man. Blatch now comes back to Dalliston. Patience here from the Philippines offensively. Oh, it's straight through the hands. Who's going to come away with it? Oh, what hustle by Dalliston. Scramble for the ball and... Qatar will pick up the loose ball. Looks like Blatch might be a little bit tired. Slow chasing back. Fowder now. He's going to use a screen from Saeed. Oh, a little hesitation and fake. 
Kicks it back out. Gaye comes up short. A one-handed rebound from Lasseter to Dallaston. Back out to Lasseter. Beautiful flowing basketball from the Philippines. I can do this for the whole game. It would be absolutely stunning to watch. Castro now. Looking to exploit the one-on-one. -on -one. Goes to the corner instead. Back to Castro. Dances his way inside. And Aram is going to be fouled right at the end of the shot clock. It's going to send Aram to the line for two shots. Connected with his first two of the night earlier. Wonderful patience from the Philippines. Waiting to the last second. Aram, nothing but net for the first of his two attempts. So much experience in this Philippines roster. Only two players under the age of 27 in the entire 12. The 30 Ravine, who's 22. And Scotty Thompson, who's 25. Khaled now back out to Fowler. Fowler looks to drive inside. There were a couple of steps. Almost travelled, but came up short. And Aram grabs the rebound. Feeds it out. Hesitation dribble by Castro. And he's fouled by Fowler. And Qatar at the moment are starting to look a bit shaky. They're on the ropes. And the crowd in the arena here know it. The travelling support for the Philippines is unbelievable. I don't think there has been such support for the away team in any of the qualifiers across the world. They have truly turned this game into a home game for the Philippines for the noise that they make. Absolutely wonderful passion and spirit for the game and their team. Castro at the line for two now. 75% from the line prior to this evening. Open up these qualifiers with an absolutely huge game against Japan back in November 2017. 20 points, seven boards, six assists against Japan back then. Didn't have a bad time last time out either. 19 points and five rebounds against Iran as well. Fouled and out for Qatar. Uses a side screen. Castro jumps over the top of it, does so again. Gaye, nice change of direction, gets some space for the jumper and nails the jumper. What an important shot that's going to be as... We're into the final 20 seconds of this first half. Gaye, wonderful form, gets it to drop. The Philippines will run the clock down and take the last shot of the half, or so they hope. Clock down to five now. Blatch skips it back out. Castro looks to go inside. The door's closed, though. Aram for three. Hits the three. Is it going to count? Let's see what the officials say. Looks like it's been waved away. They're going to say the clock expired, I think. Yeah, I think they're going to wave it away. The clock expired, so that's going to be the end of the first half here in Doha. Qatar 21, Philippines 31. Philippines halfway. Yeah, as you can see, the light's flashing on the backboard before he releases the shot. How frustrating for J.P. Aram. But that is the end of the first half here in Qatar. Qatar 21, the Philippines 31. 20 more minutes of action to come. And what has been a tense affair so far. Very your shooting statistics. As you can see, Qatar not shooting well from outside, only 11%. The Philippines doing a much better job, 5 from 13 for them. Rebounding battle just being won by Qatar. Four offensive rebounds for them. That's good going in the first half. The turnovers for Qatar is killing them, though. Eight turnovers in the first 20 minutes. They'll need to protect the ball better in the second half. That is for sure. They won't be happy with that sloppy play. But Qatar started the game exceptionally well. They were scrappy and they held the lead halfway through that first quarter. The Philippines were relying heavily on Blatch at that point. Everything was going through him offensively. It wasn't working. 
as soon as the Philippines started moving the ball more, giving some more offensive opportunities, they started taking control of the game. They ended the first quarter up by four and extended that lead by a further six points in the second quarter. They'll be reasonably happy that they've taken a ten-point lead into the half-time locker room. They won't be happy that it's such a low-scoring game, but I'm sure they'll look to correct that in the second half. The Philippines scoring is being led by Jason Castro. He's got eight points, three assists to his name in the first 20 minutes of action. Both Blatch and Lassiter have got six points. Blatch has also got eight rebounds already and three assists. Filling up the box score, Andre Blatch in the first half. For Qatar, their scoring is being led by uh, Irfan Saeed. He's got six points on four boards to his name. Al Hadari is uh, on four points as well. Two boards for him. But, uh, not much to write home about from the Qatari box score after the first 20 minutes. As I said, the three-point shooting for Qatar has been a bit of an issue. They're shooting 11% from the perimeter, whilst the Philippines are shooting almost 39% from the perimeter. They're doing well on the boards, though. They're winning the rebounding battle 20-16. to 16. They've even got four offensive rebounds. But probably the most telling statistic of all for the uh, Qataris is the fact that they turned the ball over eight times in that first half, compared to just four times for the Philippines. So with that in mind, plenty still to come here in Doha, in Qatar. 2019 FIBA World Cup qualifier between Qatar and the Philippines. Philippines still have the dream of making it to the World Cup finals in China. For Qatar, they might just be playing for pride, but they're putting it all on the line here in Doha today. Make sure you come back for all the second half action and what's set to be an exciting game for both the crowd in the arena and for you guys watching at home. End of the second quarter, Qatar 21, the Philippines 31.
Well, welcome back to Doha Heat in Qatar for the second half of the World Cup qualifier between Qatar and the Philippines. And we've had an interesting first half. It hasn't been a very high scoring affair at the half time break. Qatar trail by 10 to the Philippines, 21 to 31. The KG opening to the game for the Philippines has kept it quite low scoring, but uh, they've certainly grown during those first two quarters and they'll be reasonably happy with their performance and where they are 10 points clear a win is absolutely critical for them remember this is part of their qualification for the world cup finals in china later this year and to uh, give themselves the best opportunity they'll you know, want to win both games and they play qatar here obviously this evening and then uh, coach Gio will take his team to kazakhstan on sunday for what could be a winner-takes-all affair. So, so much at stake this last weekend of these World Cup qualifiers. The final window is going to throw us a few twists and turns along the way. For Qatar, they're merely playing for pride, but that means an awful lot to pretty much any professional athlete. And they know they're still within touching distance. They're only down by 10 after 20 minutes. And they've kept the Philippines to low scoring, and that was critical for Qatar. They're one of the lowest scoring teams in uh, these qualifiers. The lowest scoring team in Asia. They're only averaging 63.8 points per game. That is uh, an awful lot lower than the Philippines. They're averaging 79.3 points per game. So keeping the Philippines down to 31 is one of the tasks that Qatar know that they've done, but they need to pick up their offensive production in particular, they need to bring up their production from the perimeter. They're only shooting around about 10% from outside in this first half. Whilst the Filipinos are nearer 40%. And that's where the gap is. That really is where the difference in the teams lies at the moment. What do Qatar have in store? And one thing we need to bring to your attention is this is in Doha. Um, as much as you see the pictures there and pretty much every other person in the crowd is wearing a Philippines t-shirt, jersey, scarf, banner. This is actually in Qatar, but the Filipino fans have traveled in numbers and they've made it almost a home game for the Philippines. And you'll hear them throughout the second half as we've heard them in the first half as well. They've made so much noise at times. So passionate for their basketball in the Philippines. And they really are a sixth man for their team. And the uh, Philippines are actually on the floor waiting to start the second half. And Qatar is still on the bench <laughs> discussing their tactics. I'm not sure the officials were overly impressed with that. And uh, eventually the Qatari players make their way onto the floor. Saeed has uh, done a good job, number 11 there in the first half. He's dealt with the threat of Blatch as best he can. He's also produced offensively as well. Himself six points, four boards in that first half. But the second half is underway here now in Doha, in Qatar. End of the first half, Qatar trail by 10, 21 to 31 to the Philippines. Blatch now feeds it to the corner. Nice ball movement. Dalliston for three. Oh, you knew that was only going to end one way. You cannot give that man that space. He will make you pay every time from the perimeter. Philippines extend their lead early on. Gaye now to Fowder. Fowder looking to feed Saeed in the post, but no joy. Fowder from outside, in and out with his attempt, and Blatch grabs the rebound. And as we saw all first half, Blatch advances it up over the half as well. Fakes the three, corner, Dalliston, back-to-back -back threes for Dalliston! What a way to start the second half! He's up to nine points personal and still 100% from the perimeter. Wonderful play from him. Really is almost legendary status in Filipino basketball. Saeed now off the glass. Tough move. Big smile from Blatch. He knew that he made his uh, opponent earn that one. Pressure all over him. Oh, Blatch has joined in the three party. He gets his triple. Smile across his face. Not enough to get a smile on the coach's face yet, though. I think you'd have to wait for the final buzzer before you see that one. 
Philippines, though, have absolutely exploded out of the blocks. 17-point lead for them now. 9-2 start to the second half. Saeed, mid-range jumpers, no good. And the Philippines are close to taking control of this one. Dalliston to Blatch for three. Oh, my goodness me! Back to back to back to back threes for the Philippines. What a wonderful start to the second half. Couldn't buy a bucket from the perimeter in the first half, Andre Blatch. And lights it up early on in the second half. It's almost become a shootout between him and Dalliston. And you hear the crowd now of Filipino fans. Gabe Norwood enjoying that one as much as the crowd are. Timeout's been called and uh, Coach Ganiaris has certainly got an awful lot of work to do now. Under two minutes into the second half and the deficit has doubled. Let's jump into the timeouts and listen. Unbelievable when you think about it. The Philippines scored 31 points in the first 20 minutes. They've just scored 12 points in two minutes. And that's why we love this sport so much. So unpredictable. The ebbs and flows and momentum and the crowd are absolutely in this game now. Listen to the noise here as the Mexican wave flies its way around the arena. I've never before seen a game like this where the away team have such, such support. Alistair knows he shouldn't have reached in. He doesn't want to give up his fouls. Not when he's got a hot hand. Look at the Mexican wave. Look at how much these travelling fans are enjoying themselves now. El Hadari, little hesitation inside. Kicks it back out to Saeed. Floats it up, but he's off target. Scramble on the floor is won by El Harari. He's going to come back out. He's being harassed, though, by Gabe Norwood. Abdul Halim sets him a screen. He's got the mismatch he wants, but I'm not sure he's going to get the shot away. Abdul Halim for three as the shot clock runs down, and it's an air ball. The Philippines pick it up, though. Inside now. He's no good for Aguilar. Abdul Halim coast to coast, and he's fouled. Sometimes what you need as a team when you're on the ropes and you're taking a, an absolute beating at the moment like Qatar are, someone get hold of the ball and uh, give it a bit of direction, a bit of aggression to the basket, force matters a little bit. And Abdul Halim has done that. Any which way to get some points on the boards now for Qatar. And this is the first of his two. He's only shooting 50% from the line before this evening. He's played in seven of the qualifiers so far for Qatar has Abdel Halim. Alayan, big man, misses a second as well. Scotty Thompson now hands it to Blatch, back to Thompson. As the Philippines continue to be patient and Abdel Halim caught with his hands in. Easy call for the officials. Fowler's going to come out of the game for Qatar, and uh, Suleiman Khalid is back in. Blatch now in the corner. Back out to Norwood. Philippines spreading the floor really well at the moment. Aguilar now, one on one against Abdel Halim. He's going to drive the baseline, and one for Gabe Norwood. The energy man, the hustle man, gets himself a wonderful and one play. And you see the crowd get to their feet, and you hear the noise now in the arena. Absolutely deafening. Nord, 67% from the line. Such a hustle player, so integral on the defensive end for the Philippines. He's actually won defensive, sorry, he's been part of the defensive team of the year in the Filipino League seven times. Really has built a uh, 
impressive career around his tenacious defensive style. Khalid now to El Hadari. It's uh, unable to be caught by El Reyes. To Thompson, back to Norwood, to Thompson in the corner. He's going to come back out to Norwood with it, though, and the Philippines will take their time. They're more than happy to do that. Blatch for three again. Oh, he is absolutely on fire right now. Three from three from deep for Andre Blatch in this third quarter. Up to 15 points personal, 10 rebounds as well. Another double-double for him. Ah, oh, big rejection from Aguilar. Dalliston now. Oh, it's stolen away by Saeed. Good quick hands in the transition defense by the big man. El Hadari floats it inside. El Reyes. Oh, and that sums Qatar up at the moment. Just not getting the roll. Gives it in. Thompson, he's met at the ring by El Reyes. Good defense there from Faris El Reyes. Gets up and blocks his man. I'm not sure Thompson was expecting a, such a strong defense at the ring. It's going to be a Filipino ball on the baseline, though. They've got 16 seconds on their shot clock. And they've absolutely dominated this third quarter. An 18-2 third quarter is where the Philippines are at the moment. In the corner, Scotty Thompson comes up short, though. Anticipation, not just from me, but from the uh, Philippines fans in the crowd. Mushkic setting the screen for Gaye. Oh, nice pass inside, but another rejection for Aguilar. The Philippines are doing it on both ends at the moment. Blatt shaping up for the three. You can feel that he's trying to get some space to shoot the three, and he does. Oh, he's up short this time, but who's that man? It's Norwood in there this time, fighting for the boards. Foul's going to be called, though, and there's the block by Aguilar. And even when you're up by as many as the Philippines are, they're still hustling down every single defensive play. Blatch inside. To Aguilar, fakes the jumper, goes inside, good pass. Dalliston now inside, right hand float off the glass. And the Philippines are in full flow right about now. Dalliston up to double digits, he's on 11 points personal. And the Philippines lead is up to 28. Khalid is fouled as he spins to the basket. And uh, I think the facial expression of coach Gany Addis there sums it up just pure shell shock in this third quarter as the philippines have absolutely blown this game out of the water in just over five minutes of play khalid now at the line As talented as Khaled is, he's not necessarily a great free throw shooter. Only 35% from the free throw line prior to tonight's game. But he has been uh, absolutely instrumental back in game day eight. He got 10 points, five boards and four assists in the reverse of this fixture. Misses the second of his two. Blatch now to Thompson and the foul is going to be called I think that one's going to be called on El Hadari as he reaches in with his left arm there and uh, stops Blatch from progressing always oh, going to be a tough match up for El Hadari Baroka is in the game now gives it up to Thompson Back out to Aguilar, to Blatch. Blatch fakes the three. Nice quick ball movement. Pulls in for the long two. He comes up short. Rebound is pulled in by Norwood. Baroka goes baseline. Almost has it stripped away. Remember, Baroka's back into the game with four fouls. Picked them up very early on in the game. He's played less than six minutes, and he's picked up four fouls. Easy call for the officials as Canada pulls on the arm of Baroka. 
And I think the Qatari players are fully shell-shocked right now. What they've experienced is uh, just a wave of offensive destruction from the Philippines. They've just pulled them apart and absolutely given them an offensive schooling in this game. Baroka hits the first of his two from the line. Back at the line for the second. Takes his personal tally to five points now. Extends the Filipino lead to 29. And you wonder when the smile is going to break through for uh, Coach Giao. Might even not happen tonight. Might only happen when he sees his team listed among those qualified for the World Cup finals in China later this year. You have a feeling he's that kind of competitor. It's not done until it's done. This is only half the job for the Philippines. Khalid now inside to Muskic. Nice move. And this is what Qatar need to do. They need to go back to basics. They don't need to get flustered. Wonderful example of a pick and roll. Get the mismatch and let your big man go to work. Oh, another big shot. Uh, this time it's from Aguilar. He's getting in on the act. Drains himself a three. Six points personal, four rebounds for him. Couple of blocks to his name as well. Khalid for three. No joy, and Aguilar with another rebound. Long out of the pass to Norwood for the one-hand flush. And they are putting a show on here in Doha right about now. Wonderful heads-up play by Blatch. Feeds the transition. And Norwood finishes with authority, much to the enjoyment of the crowd. As you can hear, the noise levels just keep going up here in Doha. It might technically be a home game for Qatar, but uh, it certainly isn't with regards to the noise in the crowd. Thousands of Filipino fans have made the journey and turned this into pretty much a home game for the Philippines. Look at how much they're enjoying themselves. And this is what these new World Cup qualification structure is for, bringing joy to fans around the world. Let's see what Qatar have got. Let's jump into their huddle. And while the crowd are enjoying themselves, Coach Ganiaris not necessarily enjoying himself as head coach of Qatar at the moment. They are absolutely going through the ringer. They're being shown how to play the game at the moment as Rosario comes back into the action for the Philippines. What have Qatar got left to offer in this game? Just over three minutes to play. They trail by 32. Khalid now. Nice backdoor pass to Fowler. Fowler will kick it out though. And the jumper from distance is no good. Navdic off target with that three. It's going to be a baseline ball for Qatar, though. Qatar, bear in mind, have only scored five points in this quarter. They really have come to a grinding halt offensively. Pass inside is to Muslic. And he's fouled by Lasseter. Lasseter shaking his head. I think we need to see the replay. Let's have a look. He's leaning all over him. I'm not too sure what he can complain about. He's leant all over him before the shot. And then he's hit his wrist after the shot. And, uh, yeah, good reaction from the Qatari coach. Doesn't really need to say anything. As Muslic goes to the line. More known for his three-on-three -three exploits. But uh, certainly has a potential... Big future in the national team. Real opportunity today for him to stake a claim. Second attempt from the line is good. And there is first international points of that young man's career. 
Always ones that you'll remember and cherish. As the Philippines look to continue the onslaught here in Doha. Baroka now hands it off to Aram. Good quick movement here from the Philippines into the hands of Baroka. Off left with that one and Khalid just about pulls the rebound down for Qatar. Muslic, strong move to the basket. He's taking full advantage of his opportunity now. Wonderful strong play, plenty of contact for him to deal with. Norwood, Baroka now into the hands of Rosario. He's going to come up and play the screen for him. Here I am. And that looked like a foul there from Aram. He needs to be careful. Sorry, that's uh, from Rosario. Needs to be careful, really. And there's the fake. Drawing the foul. Smart play by Andy Baroka. He'll go to the line for the extra one. And extend the lead back out to 30 and plenty of smiles on the bench as uh, potentially we've seen the last of Blatch and Dalliston for this evening. Try and save as much energy as they can for their game on Sunday. And what a big game it is. Kazakhstan in Kazakhstan. Sunday's game is going to be absolutely crucial for their World Cup finals hopes. Fouled and out. Trying to find Khaled. Good defence there by Lassiter. Closes out the passing lane. Ball now goes into Saeed in the baseline instead. Ah, oh, great tenacious defence by JP Aram. Didn't give up on the play. Saeed ran out of options really. Tries to take the jumper. Aram gets up, meets him up high and slaps it away. Khaled inbounds it to Saeed. He's going to go to work again and he's going to get blocked yet again. Not sure if that was Lassiter or Aram. Outlet pass to Rosario. Oh, rejected. What a huge, huge block by Muslic. Great hustle on the transition defense. Wonderful outlet pass, but Muslic did not give it up. Bangs it against the backboard. That's straight out of the three on three playbook. Thompson now inside to Rosario, it's knocked away by Avdic, but it's going to still be a Filipino ball. One fifteen left here in the third quarter, and what a third quarter we've had. Aram. Takes the tough shots, no good, and the rebound is pulled down by Avdic. Spin move, Fowler to Avdic, fakes the three, two Filipino defenders come out. Oh, he gets to the basket, can't connect for the two, but he will get the chance from the line for two. Always told if you're going to foul, foul hard. Make sure you don't give up the easy scoring opportunity in the and one play. That's exactly what the Philippines did there. No surprised how uh, shell shocked the Qatari coaching team look. At the moment, uh, losing this third quarter battle, eight to twenty-nine. The Philippines have almost scored as many points in the third quarter as they did in the entire first half. That is the level of change that we've had here in Doha. Avdic connects with the second. Baroka now in the final minute of this third quarter. What more do the Philippines have to show us? Hands it off to Thompson. Sorry, not to Thompson, to Ravina. Ravina almost throws it away, though. Shot clock down to five. What's Ravina got in his 
Kit bag. He's got a little fake. He goes to the basket, but it's no good. Shakes his head. An awful lot of expectations on his young shoulders. Seen as one of the stars of the future for the national team. Fouled and out. Oh, wonderful dribble against Baroka. Inside to Saeed. Saeed should have just gone straight up instead of faking. Looks like he was fouled then. I can understand his frustration. Looked like plenty of hands on arms. Alassiton out. Glides inside and he's fouled hard by uh, Avdic. That one's going to be called as an unsportsmanlike foul. A little bit of frustration creeping in for the Qataris now. Let's have a look at this. Yeah, absolutely. Didn't play at the ball at all. Just wanted to stop the player. Almost caught him in the face. Needs to be careful. It's a silly foul. Could cause injury for no benefit whatsoever. You can talk to yourself all you want. All you need to be telling yourself is not to do it again. He didn't achieve anything. Lassiter at the line for two. So much experience in this Filipino roster. 31 year old Lassiter brings with him, uh, I'd hate to think how many hours of basketball to the hardwood every time he kits up for the national team. Connects with the free throws and the Philippines will get possession as well. Lasseter to inbound, does so to Rosario. Goes back to Baroka. Oh, he's off with the lane. The ball is outwounded and it's uh, not going to be quick enough as the buzzer sounds for the end of the third quarter. And my goodness me, what a third quarter we've had. The Philippines scored as many points in that third quarter as they have in the entire first half. They've blown the game open at the end of the third. Qatar 30, the Philippines 62. Uh, here are your scoring stats and uh, the Philippines uh, uh, put on a shooting exhibition masterclass in that third quarter. Blatch hitting back-to-back -back threes, Dalliston hitting back-to-back -back threes. Just absolutely everyone in the Filipino team getting in on the act of the perimeter game. And early on, they blew the game wide open with their perimeter shooting. Qatar did not have an answer. And there's your two triples from Dalliston. And Blatch wasn't going to be outdone. That was, uh, to be sure, he tried all first half to hit some threes unsuccessfully. Maybe he just prefers this basket in the second half. Because Blatch managed to uh, get on the score sheet from the perimeter as well. End of the third quarter, though. Qatar trail by 32 now. 30 to Qatar, 62 to the Philippines. And that is one exciting 10 minutes of basketball for the thousands of Filipino fans that have made the trip here to Doha in Qatar. And it really is such a passion for not just the players, but the fans as well. We now have 10 minutes left in the game, and it really is an opportunity for Qatar to show what they've got. Some young players in the roster like that man there, Nadim Muslic. His first international game, and he's certainly not backing down. He's got himself some points on the board and a very impressive block to his name as well. Let's see what else Qatar have got to offer now. Here we go. Final 10 minutes of action here in Doha in Qatar. FIBA World Cup qualifier between Qatar and the Philippines. After three quarters, the Philippines lead by 32 points. Fouled and out. Trying to shake his defender. Blasted a basket. Baroka can't keep up with him, but the ball won't quite find its way through the net. And Saeed grabs the rebound for Qatar, and he's fouled. That foul's going to be called on Aram. Yeah, across his back. Aram will go to the line. Uh, sorry. Saeed will go to the line for two shots. It's the first of his two. Back 
Got a line for the second. He takes him up to double digits, scoring now. He's on 10.6 boards. He's certainly put in a tough shift, has uh, Erfan Saeed. Philippines have stepped out of bounds with the ball, though. Turnover. Good hustle by Fowder. All over Baroka, forcing the mistake. Yep, his right foot there steps on the line. Great defence by Fowder. Philippines will be using these 10 minutes now to rotate through, try some different rotations, try some different offences and...